Welcome to the Bedwetting Clinic. This video shows you how to use the Pyama application during the bedwetting treatment period. The main screen in the Pyama application consists of three basic parts or functions. The first function to the top left of the screen at the three vertical lines is the menu to the settings and some basic information. This we will show you later. The second function is a calendar where data is entered during the bedwetting treatment. And third, we have a section with different messages that are sent to you during the treatment process. These messages you will receive are based upon the information that you will enter in the calendar. The information entered in the calendar is analyzed and you'll receive tailored messages that, you, that will guide you through the bedwetting treatment with the bedwetting alarm in the best way. We will now show you how to enter information in the calendar. We pick a date by clicking on the day after the night we want to register. So for the night between the 15th and the 16th, we select the 16th in the calendar. First, enter the time when the child went to bed. Click on the time and enter the time when the child goes to bed. In this example, 8 p.m. Next, enter if the child wet the bed or not. Here we enter dry to indicate that the child did not wet the bed. The question if the child woke up by itself to pee during the night is answered as well. Next, select Save to complete the calendar entry. This procedure is all you have to do when the child has had a dry night. In a similar way, a wet night is registered in the calendar between the 16th and the 17th. Again, the time when the child went to bed is entered in the calendar, say 8.30. We select wet, indicating that the child wet the, wet the bed during the night. The next question is if the child woke up by itself by the alarm, or if the parent had to wake up the child when the alarm sounded. It is common that the parent has to wake up the child in the beginning of the treatment due to that many children with bedwetting problems are deep sleepers. In this example, we enter that the child woke up by itself and next the time of the alarm was at 2 a.m. in the morning. Save and you're done with the entry. You can always go back and look at the calendar entry. Notice that if you have a phone or a tablet with a Pyama application within 10 10 uh, meters from a Pyama sensor, the time of the bedwetting alarm is automatically updated to the correct time which simplifies the calendar entry. We recommend that you enter the calendar information in two steps. When you do that, you do not have to remember any times when the child went to bed. An example to do this is that if you want to register the child between the 18th and the 19th, select the 19th. In the first step, click on the calendar entry at the time when the child goes to bed. The time will be pre-selected and you can simply save this first part of the registration. The partial registration is indicated with the ring around the date. At night or the next morning, I can complete the registration by filling in all questions for that date. Save and you can see by the filled in circle that the calendar entry is complete. In conclusion, 
the calendar entry is quite simple and our experience is that it's easiest to do it in two steps for each day. The calendar entry information is analyzed and you will see messages related to your progress shown below the calendar to guide you in the best way through the bedwetting treatment. The menu with information and set settings is accessed to the top left. One setting that might be useful is to set the night time alarm signal. Enter settings and then choose night alarm. Here you can set the sound of the alarm on your phone or tablet and if you want it to vibrate or not. If the phone or tablet shall be used as an alarm device, it looks like this in the application. The alarm sounds and it's stopped by pushing the stop button on the screen. The calendar will automatically be opened with the time of the alarm already filled out. You can further see that the time when the child went to bed has already been entered. Complete the calendar entry and save the information. Make sure to have the phone or tablet within 5 to 10 meters from the sensor and the PRAMA application open. Another function that can be good for you to know is that you can report any technical problems that you might have. In the calendar entry there is an option called any technical problem. If you select yes there are three options that can be filled out. False alarm, no alarm and other. Based on what you fill out we will send you feedback in the form of messages to guide you through how to solve the issues. In this example, false alarm is chosen, which will give you feedback on what to think about and what to do to resolve this issue. This issue. We hope that this has given you insight into how to use the application, and we wish you the best during the bedwetting treatment.